A suspected ISIS camp in Libya now destroyed by U.S. warplanes on the orders of President Obama. U.S. intelligence believes foreign fighters there were training to launch an attack, possibly in Europe or Africa. It's only the second time the U.S. has gone after ISIS inside Libya, this time just days after the president warned the U.S. would strike. We will continue to take actions where you know, we've got a, a clear operation and a, a clear target in mind. With 5,000 ISIS operatives in Libya, the threat of an attack from there is growing. The president will make good on his promise to continue to apply pressure to ISIL leaders who threaten the United States and our interests. Two U.S. F-15s from the U.K. and drones from Italy flew to Sabrata on the North African coast of Libya. This video claims to show the aftermath of the U.S. dropping bombs on four buildings that the U.S. said housed 60 ISIS operatives. U.S. military and intelligence agencies had watched the camp for weeks. Aerial reconnaissance flights saw advanced weapons and tactics training. A top ISIS operative, Nur al-Din Shoshan, at the camp was targeted and killed. He is said to be responsible for two deadly attacks over the border in Tunisia last year. This individual uh, is a known ISIL leader, a facilitator and uh, an individual who has facilitated the flow of foreign terrorist fighters across North Africa. The U.S. concern now, Libya, with no central government in control, is a fully functioning third front for ISIS, along with Iraq and Syria, a place they may use to plot attacks against the West.